Asmund Gold, the man who sleeps with cockroaches, doesn't drink water, loves fizzy drinks and, I don't know, eating off plates that have never been washed in their entire lifestyle. I mean, this guy goes around to his grandma's, sees what's been left in the dishwasher and says, are you using this grandma? Ah, oh, just, I'm just waiting to wash it up. Don't worry. Well, don't worry, I'll take care of it for you. And fucks off, steals three of her plates. But Asmund Gold, a man who I, you know, I, I'll be honest, I've never understood it. I made a video about him and I got rinsed. My arsehole was honestly the size of the Eiffel Tower. It was absolutely torn from mouth to the bottom of my foot. I had just, my whole body was a bone crack. People didn't like that, I didn't like him. And yet, a month or two later, stuff's coming out that this guy was right. He's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. And I was fucking right. So if you didn't know, there's a genocide going on or a war. Um, I'm not going to get into it. I don't know anything. I think Israel are bad. I think both guys are bad. I think all of these sides are bad. I think the general problem here is war. Yeah, war is bad. You don't need me to tell you that. And I think picking sides is just stupid. Oh, but if you don't get involved, this, that and the other. Dude. If we were, you know, 50, 60 years ago, we wouldn't fucking be knowing on what's going on right now, yeah? Things that don't, just because we have the access to the internet does not mean we should know everything. Now, I agree it's important to raise issues and raise concerns and what's going on over there is disgusting. It's horrific. It is horrible. It is not, you know, no words. But the, what, what are you going to do? Throwing a Palestine flag out in your front garden does fuck all. Fuck all. And it's even funny, the L, anyway... Let's see what Asmund Gold's opinion, because his opinion is so cherished for some reason. Because this guy knows everything about health, wealth, and how to be successful. Just generally a happy human. I mean, does he look happy? I've never seen a cunt smile. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. So I don't, I don't know about Sharia law. I don't even know how to spell it. All I know is that wherever religion goes, both Christianity, Muslim, every sort of religion, there seems to be death. John Lennon said, with no religion, there'd be no wars. Who are we to argue with a beetle, bro? You know what I mean? If John Lennon said it, I believe it, all right? And I just, you know, Sharia law, this, that, and the other, that, you know, everyone's entitled to follow their religion, and I support that. I don't care what you do, but it's when you start influencing and affecting other people. It's like, I remember being at a skate park once, I got some dickhead coming, trying to preach me why I should be a Christian. I was about 12. You know what I mean, bro? I'm here to skate the ramps, man. Skate the ramps and look cool. I don't want to be lectured by some idiot. And I remember, we, because we were young, we were all laughing. It's like, don't worry, laugh, it's normal, it's fine, don't worry, this is, you know, we understand it's weird. And we were like, yeah, let's pray. We were taking the piss. You know what I mean? No one's going, yeah, I'm a fucking Christian, you know what I mean? Get me baptised and call me Jesus. Like, that's not happening, bro. Give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. There's his litre of coke that he drinks mm. in the morning. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. It's like asking Bob the Builder what his opinion on a war is. You know what I mean? What does this guy know about war? The, the guy plays World of Warcraft and maybe Call of Duty and he thinks he's a war tactician or genius. He thinks he's the general of the American army. Well, if they had bom more bombs, they would be using them. Yeah, no fucking shit because they're getting bombed too. Uh, what a dumb thing to fucking say. You know what I mean? If they had more, they would be firing back. Hello? Does anyone live in there? Of course. That's like saying if you had more food, you would eat more food. Of course you fucking would. If you had more money, you would have a nicer house. No fucking way, really. If you had more money, you would have an extra pair of shoes or at least two pairs of socks. True story, you know, one pair of socks, you know what I mean? Got to keep them fresh. I don't waste. I do not waste. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture. Oh that my is god. Horrible. Oh, I saw saw a tweet, so he actually calls them inferior. I mean, that is a bannable offense online. Now, I'm not calling for that. Every, I believe personally everything, no matter whether you agree, disagree, should be able to express their opinion online. Obviously, hatred is different. Some people might say that's hatred. They are nowhere near, they're not inferior, this and the other. But I do agree, they don't care about you. So why are we caring about us? about them you know what i mean they really don't give a shit you know what i mean if they could they would fucking blow us up probably you know they do not care about us you know what I mean? if we were getting it done they they would not interfere you know if where you were from europe america if you were getting attacked by whoever you didn't have the firepower they would not be stepping in bruh 
they would not be helping out. Now, I disagree with the inferior comment. I think he's probably going to regret have said that, and I think he does regret saying it. But it doesn't change the fact that I, I agree in a way that what, you know, they don't care about us, so why are we getting involved? And why, why do people think they, you know, Palestine like LGBTQ people? Like, you would be killed, bruh. You'd be hung, drawn, and quartered over there if you sucked penis. Like, are you aware of that? That's who you support. Now, again, genocide is wrong, and we. I hope everyone over there is, you know, gets some peaceful resolution soon. But they don't care, you know what I mean? They don't mistake this for, like, good versus evil. This is not good versus evil. This is two very convoluted sides fighting each other over things we don't really know about. You know, I think there's probably a lot deeper and a lot scarier things going on over there than we realise. I think the Americans are involved. The UK's involved, whoever it is. Get your tinfoil hats on, boys. It's directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for, and it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. Valid point. I also, uh, I, I can't say I support them. You know, what go on, goes on over there has been going on for years. People get involved on different sides. You know, it's wars violence and, and sharia law whatever that might be you know you always hear things like women can't drive this that, and the other whatever whatever the problem is i do feel bad and you should feel guilty for the kids for the children for the women over there who are not part of this fight this is ego may egotistical maniacs running countries thinking they are above everyone else they look out of their kingdom whatever they look out into their cities and go i'm above you all i'm better than you and I, I think that's what Asmund Gold is trying to say. Like, the, the leaders are pricks, selfish, self-entitled. They want war. They want a power. They want money. But, you know, we should care and we should feel sorry for the little people on the ground because they're the ones who are having to lose their lives and, you know, suffering for it. And just like all terrible YouTube apologies soon, Zach, I love... Is his, is his surname As Asmund Gold? That's a cool name, anyway. Looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole. But the Palestine thing about the Palestine thing, my bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. That was an apology as in like, you know, your fucking, your grandma's on the phone. Oh, you're on the internet for the bad things. I think you should just apologize. But I stand by it. It's like, just do it. Just apologize. And you know, you got to apologize to your brother. I'm sorry I pooed in your sandwich and gave it to you. There, is that okay, mom? Are you happy now? Anyway, guys, look, I don't think he's, um, he didn't mean, like, quite that he thought they were inferior. I think, I think he just thought that these people with all these rules and, well, you know, they are race, they have racism over there, I'm sure. Um, what's it called? Were you rude to women? Um, sexism. I can't believe it took me so long to remember that word. So they'll have, like, sexism uh, against women. They won't have all the rights, you know. So I think what he said was terrible. You know, you should feel wrong. But I also think he, he, he probably didn't quite mean they were, you know, sort of like gutter rats while he's, you know, a stool pigeon or something like that. Or, you know, they're the rats and he's the great tiger of the kingdom. I don't think he meant that. I just think meant, you know, all this keeps going on over there. There's lots of wars, lots of violence, lots of death. And this sort of support they're getting is kind of weird because, like, they, they wouldn't support you. Anyway, Asmund Gold, let me know what you think of him. I was right. He is a bad man. He's evil. Evil Knievel. Hello, Dr. Evil.